Adnan. Welcome. Let's go ahead and sit nice and tall in Sukhasana or Padmasana or half Padmasana. Just sit comfortably. You can sit like you are, yeah. And then just, you're good as you are, yeah, most comfortable. Cool. And then lift up the heart. With an inhale, grow the chest. With an exhale, keep the length in the spine. Relax the shoulders. Bring the hands to Gyan Mudra, index fingers and thumbs together, palms up. And keep your breath and your body moving with your breathing. Growing the body out expansively as you breathe in. From the belly, chest, and exhaling, keeping length in the spine. Let's rub our hands together. And press them firmly at the heart center, thumbs up against the sternum. Chin drawn in. Start taking deeper breaths. And in a moment here, we're going to tune in to the mantra, Om. Namo Guru Dev Namo and Aad Gure Name Jugad Gure Name Sat Gure Name Siri Guru Deve Name. Each mantra will chant three times together. Inhale. Exhale. And this breath to tune in together. Oh. Stretch our legs. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, stretch down. Bring your hand to either leg, either foot. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, turning to one side. Exhale, down. Inhaling to rise back up. Turn to the opposite side. Exhale, down. Inhaling the sound of sat. Exhaling on. And noticing what you feel stretch. Discerning your presence from its absence.
few more cycles. Stretch a little further. Inhale up. Exhale down through the center now. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, stretch further. And just holding here for a few cycles of breath. Breathing through the legs and back. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely, slowly rise, shake up the legs, bring the soles of the feet together, and bounce up and down the knees. Quickly, high and low. Breathe deeply or do breath of fire. And then start to lean forward. You can stop bouncing the knees. Start to lean forward, lifting the butt off the floor. And then bringing the hands to the knees and pushing down as you lean forward, up off the floor, balancing on the outsides of the feet, the knees here. Take a breath and let it go. Release back down. And let's come back to Sukhasana for Sufi grind. Have fun, move around, inhaling forward, soft, exhaling back. Now, grinding the pubic bone down to earth. Vortexing the bowl of the belly, orbiting around the heart, hips, and spiraling the spine up. Making waves forward and back sides, around, up, and down. A few more cycles in this direction. And next time you inhale, top off the lungs and switch directions, exhaling completely and rotating opposite way. Few more cycles. Inhale, come to center, suspend the breath, suspend your attention at the third eye and tone the perineum at the base of the spine as though holding going to the bathroom. 
Inhale, more. Exhale, release. Rest the hands in your lap or in Gyan Mudra. Drawing deep breaths. And listen to the comments for the Kriya we're about to do. Kriya for creating magnetic fields to expand your inner self. This Kriya, this practice works with Agan Granthi, which is located at the heart center. It is the place for the fire element of life, which circulates and purifies the blood and digests the food. It creates all the juices in us. When the energy here is not circulated properly, it makes one angry, limited, intolerant, and uncommitted. Sometimes the most difficult thing is to shift gears from anger or frustration to something more productive, moving the energy from one chakra to another. This Kriya can help with our capacity to make that shift. So we'll begin in um, Sukhasana or Padmasana. And with the fingers spread and lightly rounded, not exactly like we did before, but just slightly rounded, we're going to make um, hand circles rapidly with the palms facing each other just in front of the heart, almost like you're pedaling a bicycle here. Move rapidly and feel a magnetic field being built between your two hands. The hands will pick up their own magnetic identity, a vibratory magnetic field, create a mental rage even to fuel the movement. You may even imagine your worst enemy and use this feeling. Rapidly, quickly. Building a magnetic field. Each hand picking up their own magnetic vibratory identity. Make it happen. When you start to feel it, it's like, cool. Do you guys feel <laughs> cool me too? Cool. Halfway. More comments from the Kriya. Try to understand through your own experience the difference in effect of each exercise, each mantra. This will help you to understand how communication changes within you, depending upon the chakra in which communication is projected. Use the technology of the body. When you chant, use the tip of the tongue to create the sound current. One more minute here, communicating with the hands, the chakras in the palms, communicating with the heart chakra. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Thirty seconds.
Last 10. Inhale. Inhale, stop the movement and apply Mulban, root lock. Keep the hands where they are. Exhale and begin to apply Udhyana Band, sucking in the ribs, sucking in the throat, lifting the heart and diaphragm, squeeze the ribs, squeeze the spine from base to crown, and inhale. Exhale, lean forward, and just before, don't beat the floor. Stop just before you beat the floor. Like that. Sometimes your own magnetic field and the Earth's magnetic field get out of sync, and this will make you very insecure. Use your hands here to beat the floor but without touching it. You're, again, using the hands to create a magnetic field, but if you touch the floor, you may lose energy to the field you're creating. Move powerfully, use your anger, and you will find this exercise will create a breath that cannot be achieved any other way. When that happens, say, wow. Eyes are open and looking at the floor in front of you. That works for you. Strong and fast. There you go. Halfway. Only two minutes here. One minute now. It's like stuff we used to do when we were kids, yeah? Thirty seconds. Hands are open. Twenty seconds. Last little bit. Go, 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 Inhale, apply Mulbanda, root lock, rectum, sexual organ, and the navel in that order. In and up, inhale more. Exhale, apply Udhyana Band, diaphragm lock. Like you see in photos of yogis, suck in the ribs, lift the heart. Inhale to relax. I'm gonna rest on the back. Here we're going to be vibrating the spine. So lying flat on the back. Sorry, you uh, Lying down flat on the back. <laughs> Vibrating the spine here, pretending that you're lying on like a spinalator, one of those machines that you lie down upon and it flexes the spine from the hips to the shoulders. Vibrate and undulate the spine, the upper body, bouncing your butt even against the ground. Hips to shoulders, lift your butt, vibrate the spine, Get wild, move quickly. Be inside, vibrate from the inside out. Inner consciousness, remember, 
magnetic fields, creating magnetic fields to expand your inner self from the inside out. Looks good, Alex. Keep up that momentum. Here for just two minutes. Bounce your butt, vibrate, undulate the spine, flex from hips to shoulders. Halfway. Thirty seconds. Vibrate the spine. Inhale, apply root lock, mul band. Exhale, inhale, and apply mul banda, root lock. Exhale, once more, calmly exhaling completely. Inhale deeply, control, command the prana, work with it, raise it from the base to the crown. Inhale more, exhale, relax. Remaining on the back, we're going to raise the hips, making an arc of the body from the heels to the shoulders, allowing no bend in the knees. So here, raising the hips. Elbows can be at your sides, helping you lift up. There's going to be a short, small arch. Heels up. Uh, heels are to the floor, but from the heels to the shoulders, arching the body, hips raised. Here, it's going to be a little challenging. We're going to try to clap our hands together. As hard as you can, actually without letting them touch. So again, we're not going to touch the hands. You can stop just short, as hard as you can, but stopping just before they touch. You're here for a minute and a half. Try to keep the hips raised off the floor. Move fast, keep the slant, and stretch the navel out. If you clap your hands, you have to start over. Try to get close. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. 
Get the hips up. Stretch the navel out. Inhale, root lock. Exhale, relax. Now remaining on the back, we're going to begin to massage the face in circular motions, rubbing the sides of the nose. The nose has to be massaged on the outside. And while doing this massage, let yourself go to sleep, hypnotize yourself, and listen to the mantra music. Wahi Guru Ji, Sat Nam Ji, by Professor Sat Nam Singh, Sati. I'm 
Place the arms by the sides and deeply relax, plunging into a deep nap. Let your mind go to a deep sleep.
Wake up. And remaining on the back, like King Kong, begin to pound the chest without actually touching the chest. Hands are in fists. And just before you hit the chest, you're pounding like King Kong. Powerfully, quickly. Wrench the fists. Be strong. Move quickly. Faster. Here you go. Minute and 30 seconds. This is a heavy and vigorous movement. Over halfway. Agan Granthi, the chest cavity, the place from which all fire related activities spring. Granthi means not. This, this practice loosens the lock, the knot, opens up the power of the heart. Last few seconds. Inhale, squeeze the fists, squeeze the root lock, contract the pelvic floor, base, sacrum, navel. Inhale more, exhale. Inhale, apply root lock. Exhale. Last time, inhale, squeeze the base of the spine, the muscles up along the sides of the spine. Inhale more, to exhale, relax. Still lying on the back, place the hands at your heart center and totally relax, palms over the heart. Here, get lost in the heart center sound current of the chant that we were listening to before. Wahe Guru Satanam Ji, ineffable light of the soul, the truth, the identity of the soul. <laughs> Sat the 
Relaxed like this, place the hands on your forehead over your third eye point. Here we're going to chant Wahe Guru, Wahe Jiyo. Notice the difference between the music for this exercise and the last one. Previous chant is from the heart center, this one is from the third eye. Why, hey, good, why, hey, good. 
Remaining on the back, place the hands now over the navel point, just below the belly button. Concentrate there as well. And we'll chant Har Har Mukande, creative light of liberation. Oops. Keep the breath moving. 
and roll the hands, roll the feet. Start to wake up the body. And hug the knees into the chest. Rock forward and back along the length of the spine. And let's come up for a pranayama breath control. Sitting in a nice comfortable upright seat, Sukhasana or Padmasana. We'll slowly draw in the air from outside to the right nostril and use the left hand to cover the left. Inhaling through the right nostril, inhaling for as long as you want, and then exhaling through the left nostril. Exhaling slowly. Inhaling to the right. Exhaling to the left. We'll just do this for a few cycles. Finish the cycle you're on. Exhaling through the left nostril. And then relax the hand and inhale through both nostrils. And hold the sound of the breath from the throat to the heart as long as you wish. Restraining the prana. And when you need to cover the right nostril, to exhale through the left. Inhaling through both nostrils. Holding the vibration of breath from the throat to the heart, feeling it there, letting it hone your attention. When you're ready, cover the right nostril, exhale to the left. And we'll do this for a few cycles. Finish the cycle you're on, exhaling through the left nostril. And now we'll begin the Sitali Pranayama, sticking the tongue out and curling it into the shape of a U, inhaling through the curled tongue like a straw. Holding the breath. feeling the breath between the throat and the heart. And when you like, exhaling through both nostrils slowly. You 
and continuing to breathe in this manner through the curled tongue. Meditating with the breath. Discerning its presence from anything else trying to distract you. Focusing with that presence of life force within you. Holding it for as long as you wish before exhaling through the nose. And we'll do this for a few cycles. Completing the cycle, exhaling through both nostrils when you're ready. Inhale through the nose. And now with effort, exhale. And now inhale with force upwards from the feet. Exhale with force. Again, with force from the feet, inhaling. Drawing the prana up from the feet. And then sensing it in the neck and into the skull, hold, holding it for a while. With force, exhale. <laughs> With force from the feet, inhaling. Circulate it from the throat, neck to the skull. And continuing on your own again and again and again. Exhaling and inhaling powerfully with intention, commanding, controlling the prana from the feet, neck, and skull. Just as the bellows of blacksmiths are moved with force, so you too slowly move air within the body Last two cycles, final pranayama. Be present with the life force. Complete the cycle you're on. And inhale deeply. 
and apply Mool Bandha, the root lock, toning the perineum, drawing the sacrum in, lifting up, and pull the belly to the spine. Inhale more. Exhale, begin applying Uddiyana Bandha, drawing the ribs in, navel in, lifting the diaphragm, sucking in the throat, squeezing the ribs and the spine. Inhale, apply Jalandra Band, lengthen the spine, and exhale. And keep the breath moving, breathing from the belly. Let the breath come and go. Let the thoughts come and go. Don't engage with them. Simply allow that be. Rather engage with your soul. Turn inward. Your inner magnetic fields expanded out through the practice today. Your prana, your inner light. Listening deeply. Inhale. Exhale, drop the palms. If you have a mantra sheet, flip it over. We'll prepare to tune out with long time sun. Please inhale. <clears throat> Exhale. And bless yourself, bless each other, bless all the world. Inhale deeply to join in song. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the
to that which your soul is praying to attract for you, your body, to be happy, for the ego to be content, and for your efforts today of making that come a little closer to you, please bow your head in self-gratitude, respect, and love, and to your relationship with this spiritual practice. Satnam, why did you practice? Why did you practice?